In this problem, we're told the bullet in a gun is accelerated from the firing chamber to the end of a barrel at an average rate of 6.2 times 10 to the 5 meters per second squared for 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. What is the muzzle velocity? That is its final velocity, right? So in order to solve this problem, the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this bullet, right? Imagine it's starting in this gun, right? And we, so initially, it's going to start at rest. So the initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second, right? And then some gunpowder or whatever is going to make it go. And it's going to accelerate at 6.2 times 10 to the 5 meters per second squared, right? And the time it's going to do that is for 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds, right? And then we're trying to find the velocity after it's right accelerated at this for this long. So we're trying to find basically the velocity it's going to leave the gun at. So we're trying to find V final, right? So what you want to do next is just write down the information we're given. So what do we know? We know V sub 0 is 0 meters per second, right? We know A is 6.2 times 10 to the 5 meters per second squared. And then we know the time it's going to take is 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. Right, so now we have all the kinematic variables, and what we're solving for is V. Right, so if we look at our kinematic equations here, right, which is what we're going to use to solve, right, we have three of the variables. So what we want to do is uh, solve for V, right? And if you notice, equations 2 through 4 all contain the variable delta x, which we're not given. So we actually can't use those. Right, But if you look at equation 1, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t, notice what we're trying to do is find v. We have v sub 0, we have the acceleration, and we have the time. So all we have to do is just plug in our variables, or our, our numbers, right, and we'll be able to solve. So plugging it in, v equals v sub 0, which is just 0. So 0 plus anything is just going to be this part. So it's really just the acceleration, 6.2 times 10 to the 5, by how long? Right, so which is 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4, right? And if you go ahead and do this, 6.2 uh, times 10 to the 5, and then multiply by 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4, you're going to get 502.2, and then the units are meters per second for velocity. So you can round to 502 if you'd like. Uh, just make sure you do what your teacher wants you to do, right? But essentially, it's going to be 502.2 meters per second. That's going to be the velocity, uh, the muzzle velocity, right? So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.